or welcome back to my channel um today i decided that i was going to film a sit down video with you all just to let y'all know some of my college dorm must haves last year around this time i filmed a college dorm haul and that got a lot of views that's probably my most viewed video and it's at like 16k views right now so if you haven't watched that video yet y'all should definitely go watch that video first before y'all watch this one but I wanted to kind of do an updated video on some of the stuff that I use and some of the stuff that I didn't use and what I think is worth it now that I'm about to be a sophomore at North Carolina a and Before I start this video, I do want to tell y'all that I am now a Dormify ambassador. So if you're buying anything, please use my code. It's right here for money off of every single one of your purchases. And I'm also going to provide a link that you can also use to get money off of your purchases as well. So, yeah, let's get into the video. So, this is a picture of what my room looked like freshman year. Um, I love my room. It was really pretty. And I loved my color scheme, the decorations that I picked out. It's kind of like my room right now. But I know what y'all are thinking based on some of the comments under some of my other videos. Where's the dorm hall? Um... There is no dorm hall. Um, I didn't record one. College was really busy and stressful, so I kind of have no dorm hall for y'all. Sorry. But next this year, I'm not going to say I promise, but next year, I'm going to try my best to record a dorm hall. I'm going to try. Oh, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I have my iPad right here, and I wrote down some of the things that I feel made a difference in my room and some of the things that I would buy again if I were to ever go back and I wrote it down on my notes app girls y'all understand because my whole life is in my notes app the first thing that I wrote down on my list is a headboard and a lot of people may disagree with me and a lot of people may agree with me but trust me when I say that headboard in your room is going to make a difference. When I didn't have a headboard and I took it off my bed, <laughs> when I took the headboard off my bed, like my room was just really bland. But when you add that headboard, y'all, there is a difference. I think I have a picture of my bed without the headboard. If I do, it'll be right here. What? um child anyway so but no get you that headboard preferably I, if i could go back i wish i got a headboard with a charger on it just so i don't have to like reach down for my charger and i did not have a long charging cord at all so if i had to go back i would get a headboard with the charger on it so keep that in mind okay my next thing on the list is a desk touch this is highly recommended because I feel like if I didn't have my desk hutch, then I wouldn't really know where to put a lot of my stuff on my desk. It just helped with organization. It helped with the look. And if you're getting a TV in your room, you can put your TV at the top of the desk hutch. I've seen a lot of people do that. So definitely recommend a desk hutch. Next on the list is a rug. Um, Y'all, last year I went through two rugs. If you're gonna get a light color a light color rug, wash it frequently. Because I didn't do that. It got really dirty midway through the year. I had a light pink rug and so I had to go get a new one. So if you're gonna get a light colored rug, wash it frequently because and try not to have your guests put their outside shoes on the rug. Like me, my room was small, so it was kind of inevitable. But come second semester. I was telling everybody to take their shoes off because and it really made a difference in the clean and the cleanliness of the rug too so keep that in mind but yeah i feel like my rug really helped with like my floors keep my floors clean and it just helped make the room look homier so yeah get that rug the next one is something that a lot of people may not think about but i recommend getting a toothbrush holder with like a cap on it they sell them on amazon here's a picture of the one that i got and I only say this because I don't like germs. I don't know how y'all are, but I don't like germs. So having that cap on my toothbrush holder, on my toothbrush, just it just made me feel better. I don't know. It just made me feel better. So if you don't like germs like me, then y'all should invest in that. Okay, next, a blanket. Oh my gosh. The amount of naps that you're going to take your freshman year of college, like they do not tell you this. 
I was taking a nap like every day. I was so tired. After like one, two classes, I was I just wanted to go to sleep for the whole night. So those blankets really saved me. And make sure if you get a blanket that sheds, you get a lint roller. Because I wear a lot of black and I take a lot of naps. And my blanket shed so much that when I would wake up from my nap, it would be all over my clothes. But I had a lint roller. So make sure you also get a lint roller for college. Like people underestimate that. But like if you have a suit and you're about to go to a business event and your suit is black and it has lint on it, you want to keep that professional look. So definitely invest in a lint roller. The next item I would say to get is a mattress topper. Those mattresses in college, they can be very uncomfortable. I'm just going to be honest with you. They're very uncomfortable. Get that mattress topper. It makes a difference in the sleep. Like If I don't feel like I'm sinking in my bed, the sleep will not be good. So invest in that mattress topper. I recommend getting braiding hair or a ponytail hair, like anything and stocking up on your hair supplies because when you get to college and you're trying to do like a cute hairstyle or you're low on money you don't want to have to think about paying for braiding hair you don't want to have to think about paying for paying for got to be edge control all that stuff stock up on that stuff now rubber bands hair ties bobby pins bonnets all that you don't want to have to think about buying that once you get to college because i promise you doordash and food will take all your money Take it from me. I was door dashing almost every single day. Yes, every single day. Every single day. They need to sponsor me at this point because the amount of times that I use DoorDash, it was like, it's unhealthy. But next year, I'm gonna have a car, so it's gonna be different. It's gonna be, hopefully, it's gonna be different. But back to what I was saying, stock up on that those hair supplies now while you have a little bit more money so that when you're paying to get that hairstyle or you're a girl that can do their own hair and you're blessed because I can't. If you can do your own hair, do it. You already have the braiding hair. You already have the ponytail hair. Just do your own hair. It's a quick hairstyle. And wearing your natural hair in college can be a chore sometimes. So when you have your hair in braids or a ponytail and you have your hair in a protective style, it definitely helps a lot. So my next tip is to stock up on your storage items, um, especially like decorative items that can double as a storage item like an ottoman that helped me get on my bed every day and it held my business supplies and it um, acted as storage I would say pay attention to the things that you have the most of like whether you have a lot of sunglasses purses shoes hoodies and buy a lot of storage items for those things I didn't really realize how many shoes I had until I got there but I had enough storage items to fill all my shoes same goes with glass like sunglasses i bought so many sunglasses in my freshman year that i didn't really have anywhere to put them after a while so i bought a sunglass holder like a little stacking thing that holds all my sunglasses so i would definitely say look at what you're going to bring the most of to college and focus on buying storage items for that item with that being said next on the list is an ottoman um i love my ottoman uh, this may be controversial, not a lot of people, some people don't like to have these in their room, but I love my LED lights personally, because at night when I didn't want to have the full light on, I definitely turn my LED lights on, um, just for the vibe, just for the vibe. Okay, y'all gonna call me extra for this, but hear me out. Motion sensor lights, hear me out. So I had a roommate last year. And I didn't want to wake her up in the morning because first semester I had an 8 a.m. and she didn't start class till 10. So I didn't want to turn the light on. So I had two motion sensor lights by my sink. And when I would walk up to the sink to brush my teeth and wash my face in the morning, they would turn on so I wouldn't have to turn the light on. See? See? That's why I said hear me out. It's a good idea. She didn't wake up. Well, she did because she's a light sleeper. But... <laughs> It helped with the light in the morning. It wasn't too much of a distraction to her sleep. The next one is specific to if you have a bathroom and you're not having, and you don't have a communal bathroom. If you have a bathroom, you want to get a trash can with a lid on it, especially if you're sharing a bathroom with other people because bathrooms can start stinking. It's normal. So getting a trash can with a lid will help put like mitigate the amount of odor 
coming from the bathroom. The next one, I cannot stress this enough. Get a large enough hamper to hold your clothes in, especially if you are the type of person to wear a lot of clothes and change your outfit throughout the day because your hamper is gonna get full so quick, like quicker than you think. And make sure your hamper is either the one that you can hold on your back or one of the ones that rolls. Because if you're living on the third floor and the laundry room is on the first floor, you're gonna have to carry your laundry basket through all those flights of stairs. And if it's overflowing, your clothes gonna be falling out. Like, you don't want that. So make sure you get a hamper that is convenient for you. Next one. I use my dry erase calendar every single month. I was really diligent on updating it. And if you're going to get a planner, everybody is different. But for me, planners don't work. My dry erase calendar in my room, that had like all my big events on it so that I can see three weeks in advance, okay, I have this test on this day. So having that calendar in my room really helped me remember everything that I had to do for the day or like that next week and things like that. So I definitely recommend getting a dry erase calendar for your room. The next one is shower shoes. It doesn't matter if you're sharing a bathroom with one person, just you, or in a communal bathroom. The next one is extra heavy command strips. My calendar fell off my wall like every single day. So I would really recommend getting extra heavy command strips. I get mine from Target. I'm gonna put the picture right here. I get mine from Target. Get the extra heavy ones. like just to be sure because you never know this next one is something that i wish i had in my dorm my fall semester but i put it in my room spring semester which is picture frames and pictures of my family and friends that's something that i felt like i missed in my fall semester and it really made a difference because when i felt like i was missing friends from home or my parents and i looked at those pictures it instantly made me feel better so i really recommend getting pictures of your family and friends, fun moments in your dorm. The next one, this is a big one because that college cough is real. That college cough is real, y'all. You will get sick in college. You're gonna get sick in college. Like you're there for, from August to May, you're gonna get sick. And it doesn't matter if you're the type of person who never gets sick because you're, again, you're getting thrown in an environment with people from all over, like your body, it's gonna be like okay what's going on you need medicine what i had is a big bin of allergy medicine cold medicine headache medicine all of that you need all that in your bin and you don't want to have to go to the store you don't want to have to ask around you don't have to buy it when you get there just get a medicine bin another thing that i recommend you to get is at least two extension cords not just one because you're gonna need one near your desk because that's where you're gonna be putting all your laptops up at and all the other things that you're gonna have on your desk. And you're gonna need one by your bed because that's where you're gonna plug in, okay, maybe your TV, maybe your phone charger, maybe your alarm clock charger and things like that. So get two extension cords and not just one. This one is a nice to have, this one isn't a must have. Last year I had a rolling TV stand so I could look at my TV anywhere I wanted. Like, depending it didn't matter where i was in the room i could see my tv but if i had my tv on top of my desk hutch i could only see my tv from my bed and sometimes i was sitting at my desk i didn't want to like look up my neck be hurting just to see the tv so i personally really loved my rolling tv stand so yeah another item that i recommend you all to buy is a closable bin for your snacks emphasis on the closable closable because this will help with bugs the next item that i recommend you all to buy are big blue bags they look like this and i used a lot like at least eight but that's because i bought too many clothes to campus but i put my clothes in there my shoes in there my purses in there and you would be surprised how many items each one fits i definitely recommend buying them because they're easier to put in your car for transportation and it's just a better option. Another one, this is also a personal preference. Um, I recommend buying a wristlet that you can carry everywhere because when you're going to parties or if you're going out with your friends to the calf and you're not carrying your book bag with you, I carried like my, um, we have these things called Aggie Ones at NCAT where you know we use them to swipe in. In buildings, we use them to swipe for our food. I carry all my cards, my phone, 
and a couple other things in that bag with me at all times. And that's just something that I couldn't carry with me if I didn't have pockets. So I recommend getting just a small bracelet that you can put on your arm so that you can walk around with it and still have all your stuff with you. Another thing, this is also something that they do not tell you. Get a clear bag for games and events on campus. We had a clear bag policy at our school and I didn't have one at first. I got mine off of Amazon. I got a crossbody. So you're gonna need a clear bag. This is another big one. Um, get a good quality speaker. Don't be cheap on a speaker because one, it can die mid-year, and two, you're not gonna be able to hear your music that well. And at my school, I don't know how it is at other schools, but people love playing music. And by people, I mean me. So I would use my sweet mates speaker all the time but i wish i had my own so i definitely recommend getting a good quality speaker i really recommend getting a portable charger just because when you're out at functions all day or say you don't remember to charge your phone before you're about to leave out getting that portable speaker will help you save your battery because you're going to be recording a lot more taking more pictures there's just gonna be a lot more going on. So if your phone is about to die and you're about to go out, nobody's gonna wait for you to charge your phone. But if you have a portable charger, you can charge it while you're in the car, while you're in the Uber, while you're on the way, all that. So definitely recommend getting that portable charger. Okay, that concludes my video of some of my personal must-haves for your dorm. Um, if I miss anything, please let me know in the comments what you guys think um, are some good must-haves for your dorm. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!